This is a video on how to um, create renders and animations in SketchUp um, once you've drawn um, the bow front cabinet. First thing we need to do is actually find some textures. So we can go to Google and just type in, um, we're going to use Maranti Timber for the bow front cabinet. So uh, Maranti Texture or Maranti Wood Texture and click on images so we get plenty of images and then it's just a, a matter of finding something that's uh, similar to the timber we're using in class. If you were going to do this in your major project then you could uh, find, you could actually take a photo of your actual timber and use it as a uh, texture in SketchUp. Let me use this one here uh, as it looks Pretty similar to the timber we use in class. You click on the image, you can save it. Now that's its horizontal way, it's going to matter, so we're going to call that Maranti Horizontal. And save it, just as a JPEG is fine. Come back into SketchUp when we're going to select the paint bucket. We need to find colors in model. Go down and click on the color drop down and new texture. It'll bring up a dialog box where you can navigate to where you've saved your image that you've downloaded from the internet or if you've taken a photo of a piece of timber in class, wherever that, that file is. It'll bring up a dialog box here for actual scale. So for the height here, I'm going to say 140. That's the width of our timber. And the image I got from Google looked like basically that width. So if we do it to that scale, it will look, um, yeah, here we can see it's 140 mil wide, which is our timber that we have. So setting that height to 140, that way it, look, it will look fairly normal and scaled in, your, in our drawing. What I'm going to do here is actually open the original image um, as this will give us the horizontal texture but I'm going to duplicate there and actually spin this around to make a vertical version of this texture. It's going to help us for our legs. If we put the horizontal texture on the legs it's going to look a bit strange. So I'm going to make this. So make sure you duplicate the original image and call that Maranti Vertical. When we go through the process of going into SketchUp and importing that texture in as an additional texture into uh, my colors. Again, set that scale. This time, because it's flipped to vertical, we change the width to 140mm wide. And there you can see that we have the horizontal texture and that will be appropriate for, as you see here, the drawer, the door, uh, the tabletop, etc. There it is. You can effectively use, and here, you can see that by using that horizontal texture on the legs it doesn't look straight, it doesn't look right because the grain, and that's better because the grain direction actually goes along the length of the legs there. That's why we have two versions of that image, or that texture. That makes a big difference. Okay, what we're going to do here is start to do a render and I'm using Twilight Render and there's a, a link in the video here you can go to get Twilight Render and add it as an extension to SketchUp. 
Firstly, I'm going to select the paint bucket. It brings up a little eyedropper tool. I'm going to eyedrop straight onto that Maranti, that horizontal texture. You can see it picks it up. I'm going to click on templates, go to wood, select flat. It's just going to enhance the appearance of our uh, timber texture when we select, um, or when we go through and do the render. Select that eyedropper tool on the vertical version as well and just go to wood flat. You can trial and have a have a have a uh, experiment with gloss etc. I just think it comes out too shiny. If we press the PR button or render button up the top there on the uh, tile or we select the, the object first. I call it the power button. There's some render presets. I'd suggest that you use medium or medium plus probably for your final folio. Actually select the final image here, size. I'm going to up it to 2400 by 1800, final image size. So we can display it in a folio. And then we just simply hit the play button. And I've just sped up this render. This would usually take about two minutes to render, but for the video purpose, I've sped it up. Remember, you can go back and check any of these steps if it's too fast. See, it actually took two minutes 39 there to render. I just sped it up. If we press this download button here, well not download, but export button, we can call that render to the bow front cabinet and save it to uh, a folder where we are going to save all our renders to. You can see it gives you that picture which is far better than just a screenshot of the SketchUp model. What we can also do is, now we know how to use that render tool, it's very much um, plug and play really not a lot of settings. We can change settings in uh, Twilight Render and you can have a play around with sun position and lights etc. But for all intents and purposes what we need it for these renders will be fine. All I'm doing here is just moving some of the components around so that we can basically model or show off our project. So in this instance showing off the bow front cabinet but when it's time for you to draw your major project you'll be able to do all kinds of different views and setups of your major project in year 12. To put into your folio which will look really good. We use the orbit, once I've got that door and the drawer open I'm just orbiting around to try and find the best angle to show off the project. Once I've got it in the right spot I can press that um, I'll select the object, select, select that power button. Keep the same settings if you like, I'm just selecting low here just so it speeds up for this uh, for the video for all intents and purposes of um, the video here. So I've just dropped that down to a low setting and, and dropped the actual final picture size down. So that render would have taken 30 seconds but still comes out quite good. Once the render's finished we can click on that export button and actually save it to a folder. Here's the final renders as pictures in our finder or folder. So they're not, they're actually just finished JPEGs you can do anything with, they're not SketchUp models or anything, they're just picture files. Which is great for presentation, uh, printing off high resolution versions of those for uh, the presentation of the major project will be essential. What I'm going to set up here, I've sped up this part of the video as well, I'm just going to move all these components around 
so as to set up for an exploded view render. An exploded view means basically I'm going to separate all these pieces out because I've drawn the project as components. I'm going to separate all these uh, components so that um, we can show an exploded view. An exploded view is essentially all the parts of the project um, separately. It gives um, whoever's interested, and especially a marker in the HSC, a good view of your project and how it actually, all the pieces that are involved and how it actually all goes together. essential you do these types of drawings in the HSC. And if you were to have a look at the cutting list that I put together uh, these exploded views, if you can label each part with letters uh, and then put a cutting list next to it with those letters, it's a really good way to present um, a cutting list. Sped this process up because it's a repeat of what we've done before. In terms of once you get your uh, photo in place, simply wave clicking on the power tool and pressing play. Now I'm going to put the project back together and show you how to create an animation. This is really good for um, showing different parts of the project and something that's a really good um, idea as a display for your major project. If you were to have an iPad or possibly creating an animation here, you go to scenes and basically we press the little plus button here every time we want the camera to zoom. So I'm going to use the orbit tool. So we start with the corner of the project there and let your creative juices flow here. But basically every time I orbit around and press that plus button, that's going to be the next camera point or the point where the camera will fly to press the plus button, you can create as many scenes as you like for your animation. Something that's really good is in the major project if you create an animation of your SketchUp drawing uh, and talk over it, just like I'm doing here, explaining to uh, the marker You know how you made different parts of your project or the key features of your project as you run through an animation. You can see that every time I click on a scene you can see it's floating to every time I've pressed a plus sign and you can then edit your scenes before you export the animation. Now we're going to create, just have a look at some settings here. So you can change settings in terms of um, how long it takes to transition between each scene. And a little bit more drama, I guess, but or depending on how long you want to talk about each feature of your project. So 
second option there is how long the camera actually stalls at each angle. Now, we get to, once we're happy, we can go File, Export, Animation. Remember to call it something that is appropriate. And you can change some things down the bottom here in terms of its format. An MP4 is a good format. You can change options, so if you were doing this for major project in year 12 you would choose 1080 a really high resolution you can choose loop to starting scene if you like or you don't have to depending on um, how your video works or how your animation works and we can press export this takes a while as well but I've sped up this just for the video And here, as I click on the, expo the uh, exported MP4, you can see what it looks like. And imagine if you were talking about this project with a little bit of music or something behind it, talking about the key features of your project, what some challenges may have been with certain features, etc. Basically puts you in the room with the mark when they're marking it, you get to have a conversation with them. I guess it's a one-way conversation, but that's a, just an added way. You get a six-minute video in the major project, so it's really important that um, you use features like this. That's how to draw, render and animate a timber project in SketchUp.